Fitting carpet tiles is an ideal alternative to stretch-in carpet installation and can quickly refresh a bare floor. Our handy tips can help you take the hassle and guesswork out of carpet tile installation. First, consider the pros and cons of carpet tiles. They're faster and easier to install than a stretch-in carpet, but you won't be able to install a pad underneath them. You can use peel and stick carpet tiles or apply clean tiles with mastic and a trowel. If you decide to use peel and stick tiles like we are in this project, here are the tools and materials you'll need. Begin the installation process by finding and marking the center of your room. This is important because tiles are laid out starting from the center. To locate the center of the room, find the midpoint of the walls and snap chalk lines between the opposite walls. Now, square the lines by measuring three feet from the center of one line and four feet from the center of the other line. If the lines are square, the points should be five feet apart. Next, distribute the tiles along the layout lines without gluing them down for a preview of what the floor will look like. Stop at the last full tile before the wall. Then, determine if the space between the tiles and the wall is less than half a tile wide and adjust the line accordingly. The lines may be wider at the wall, but should be equally sized on opposite sides of the room. It's important to find the pile direction of each tile. Typically, manufacturers will indicate the direction with arrows on each tile. Remember that when two tiles are placed with the pile facing in different directions, they will seem to be a slightly different color. You can lay the tile randomly, with the arrows pointing in the same direction, or at 90 degree angles from each other. Follow the manufacturer's directions when in doubt. Peel off the backing, then place a corner of the tile in one of the corners of the layout lines. Then form a square by placing tiles in the corner of each quadrant. Repeat this step for the next group of tiles, surrounding the group you just secured until you've laid down the first large square, and then the second and third. Once you've laid the tiles and filled your room, you'll need to trim tiles to fit the remaining space between the square and the walls. Measure the gap between the wall and one of the tiles already laid down. Draw a layout line on the back of a new tile and cut along the line with a utility knife. Lay the tile to fit the empty space and repeat this process until all tiles have been secured. Once you've laid all the tiles down, use a 75 pound floor roller to ensure they're pressed firmly into their adhesive. Follow our steps to rejuvenate any room with stylish and convenient peel and stick tiles. And thank you for shopping at the Home Depot.